thin, conductive, hard, and temperature resistant. These are characteristics that make Herreos wires so special. But how is a wire actually made? Just as a cook prepares his ingredients, the material manager mixes the recipe of the ingot before it is melted. A variety of different alloys can be produced to meet the requirements of specific applications. All components are then added to the crucible and melted at temperatures of up to 2,500 degrees Celsius. To protect the liquid melt against chemical reactions, the melting bath is covered with a protective atmosphere. As soon as the material is liquid and well mixed, it is cast into a mold to form a solid ingot. While the ingot is still red hot, it is wrought in the forging line. This ensures that the finished wire properties are homogeneous at all points. Cooling the ingot creates a cast skin on the surface. This is milled off and the pure core remains. Subsequently, the bar is rolled. A 30 centimeter bar can make up to 20 meters of rolled section. After rolling, the wire is still octagonal. To make it round, it is put into the pre-wire unit. It is processed by rollers with grooves. These rollers and grooves get successively smaller, so the wire gets thinner and rounder. After another heating in the oven, the wire is pulled across single drawing dies. These are small, round discs in which the material is pulled through successively smaller holes. This makes the wire thinner and thinner. In a multiple drawing system, several drawing dies are arranged in series. By doing this, it is possible to thin the wire down to an incredible 10 micrometers, less than a quarter of the thickness of a human hair. But before the wire is ready for use, it has to pass quality assurance. Here, it is checked how thin, conductive, homogeneous, round, how hard and tensile it is. Only after the wire has passed all tests will it be delivered to customers to bring their applications to life.